I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to calculate numbers with decimal exponent. That is to say if n is the number and x is the exponent we'll work with x which will have decimals in it. For example we'll try to find out what is 16 to the power of 0 0.5 we can find what is 81 to the power of minus 0 0.25. We could do something like uh, 25 over 36 to the power of minus 0 0.5. Right? So we'll take these kinds of examples and then we could have some practice questions. Now when we say 16 to the power of 0 0.5 it really means it is equals to 16 to the power of half which is square root of 16 right and as you know square root of 16 is 4 now when I say 81 to the power of minus 0 0.25 minus makes it reciprocal so it becomes 1 over 81 and I can convert 0.25 Hello? Yes? Oh, we are not interested. Thank you. Bye. So, negative makes it reciprocal. That means 1 over 81. So, the exponent remains at uh, 0 0.25, right? Now, 0 0.25 is like quarter. So, what we are looking for, for here is fourth root of 81 you get my point fourth root of 81 and square root is 9 and square root of 9 is 3 so it is equals to 1 over 3 so that becomes the fourth root of 81 in this example negative as we discussed is the reciprocal so here it flips it becomes 36 over 25 and the exponent becomes 0 0.5 that minus makes reciprocal of the fraction right 25 over 36 becomes 36 over 25 and now we'll figure out what is square root of 36 over 25 right 0 0.5 means to the power of half as we've just seen here so we can write this as square root of 36 over 25 and that is equal to 6 over 5 so I hope these steps are absolutely clear. So that is how you could actually calculate numbers with decimal exponents. Now let me take a few more examples and let's take decimals which are greater than 1, right? So let's take examples like 16 to the power of uh, 1.25 for example. Now if I write 16 to the power of 1.25 it really means now we are talking about 16 to the power of 1 times 16 to the power of 0 0.25. Since when you add them, you get 1.25, correct? 0 0.25, as you have seen, is the fourth root, correct? So it could be written as 16 times fourth root of 16, that is 0 0.25. And the fourth root of 16 is, square root is 4, right? And we can write this as 16 times 4 square root, which is 2. So that gives you the result 32. Do you see that? So that is how we can find something like what we did just now. Okay. So you can try uh, like, uh, let's try this. 8 to the power of minus 0 0.3 recurring. So this is also kind of different. 0 0.3 recurring is can be written as 1 over 3 right so we could write this as cube root because this is minus so we'll get 1 over 8 and 0 0.3 really means cube root right so let me write here as uh, as uh, to the power as 
1 over 3, right? 1 over 3 is 0 0.3 rec ring. So we are trying to find cube root of 8, right? 1 over 8. So it becomes cube root of 8 and cube root of 8 is 2. So we get 1 over 2. So I hope with this variety of examples, you are in a good position to now calculate numbers with decimal exponents, right? So let's take some more decimal exponents and uh, let us have, for example, uh, let's write 9, let's say 81, to the power of 0 0.75. Now, how are you going to solve this? Or, or we could take uh, 64 to the power of minus 0 0.75, right? So, you can test your skills with these numbers. Let me do 81 to the power of 0 0.75. 0.75 means 3 over 4, right? So we can write this as equals to 81 to the power of 3 over 4. That really means 4th root of 81 and then cube. So that is the radical. 4th root of 81 and then cube it, right? 4th root of 81 is, we just figured out, it is actually 3. And cube of 3 will be 9. So it, 27, right? Cube of 3 is 27. So the answer here is, 27.